Welcome back to the Jump Zone. And today we're going to figure out what's it going to be like if you get to those pearly gates and you're harboring racism. Okay, well I'm going to show you what it's going to be like. Okay, so let's say you are a white Christian and you have done your best to not sin, you know, and, you know, resisting temptation and as well as uh, looking after your community would be like the white community, the Christian community and other communities abroad. You've done your very best, but for some particular reason, Maybe you've gone through some kind of experience uh, with someone of color, it's gotten the best of you, and you have not repented or have absolved yourself, you know, of these these feelings, these uh, these memories, okay? And uh, you you are harboring a little bit of, a little bit of racism. You go before Christ you know, at the pearly gates, and you get there, and you see Christ. And uh, as you walk before him, you notice, hey, he's not, wow, he doesn't look Middle Eastern. Uh, he, he actually looks like a, a black man, you know. He has, you know, a dark, complected skin, you know, uh, kinky, you know, or wooly hair, okay. Because you can say kinky hair is kind of wooly. You can say also someone just a white person with thick curly hair is also wooly. But no, it's kinky, and it's like going down. Big lips, okay, wide nose. And you get to him, you're like, whoa, you know. Where am I? Like, you know, what's going on here? Uh, I, I, I just don't think this, this uh, you know, this could be Christ, right? And you say this. Yeah, you say, I don't think you could be Christ. You know, Christ is looking at you. You know, and he says, I am whatever I want to become. And you are still standing before your Lord and Savior. And at that moment, you're probably going to have like three seconds to get down on your knees. Because if you don't, he's going to be like, it seems that you have the world still in you. The ways of the world are still within you. Depart from me. I do not know you. And then he's going to do the thing with the hand and your body, you know, your spiritual form that you're in, he's going to control that. A lot of people think it's karma that moves the soul. Well, he's going to move it with force, with his will. Knock you back, and then you go into great travail. Oh, oh God! Oh, and go into the darkness and all that. I mean, I man, I hate for y'all to experience that. Seriously, that's why we have to get right when it comes to when it comes to dealing with racism and getting obviously right with Jesus and, and reaching out to Jesus, asking for the Holy Spirit, man. So that way that we don't have to go through that. And I, I really mean it. You know, I know this probably scares some people, maybe cause some doubt or whatever it is, but think about it. If you're feeling racist at all, think about it. Am I, you know, am I a racist person? Really think. Have I done? And look, go into your memories. Have I done? Yeah, I think I might have. Get on your knees and repent. You might do it again. It's a sub, it's a sub, it's a behavior. Some of y'all are just taught like that and raised like that. Get on your knees and pray, man. I don't want this racist. I don't want this. You know what I'm saying? And do that before you leave this world. Okay. So, again, didn't want to scare you too much or anything like that, but it's something to think about. Hope it helps. We're getting right with Jesus.